Okay, let's get right into it. Let's start with your questions. Okay. So I have two questions asking me. Where do I buy my outfits? Where do you buy your clothes po? from Stacy Epes and my sister? So I buy most of my clothes from the thrift and some of them are from online shopping or and some of them I begged my mom to buy from Amazon for my birthday. I don't want to risk buying any bottoms from online because I'm a large person. I don't want to get scammed. I don't want to break anything. I don't want to waste money. But yeah, mostly they're from the thrift. So thanks for your question. Okay, next question is runway show that resonates with your personal style from Elijah Rock. Thank you. So admittedly, I don't follow runway shows a lot. But I did some research and I found three runway shows that very much resonate with my style. First would be Anna Sui's 1993 Ready to Wear. Really? I'm sorry. Okay, Anna Sui's Ready to Wear 1993 runway show that features a lot of goth and grunge looks that look really witchy and I love them so much. Second one, okay, it's not really a runway show per se, specifically, but it's more of a general vibe, which is really cute. Okay, so 90s Chanel, basically. I love so many of their outfits. They just give off this really flirty, cheeky silhouette and really cute color blocking and cute little chain belts that I love. So that would be the second, I mean, not technically a runway show, but yeah. Okay, so the third would be a little bit recent. 2018 Dior with their ready-to-wear stuff as well. I love the witchy, the modern witch vibe that it gives. So yeah, thanks. Okay, so for the next question. <laughs> okay, two. Who's your style inspo and what's your inspiration from Anne? and my sister. So, as many of you know, my aesthetic is not very consistent, <laughs> but in what I tend to lean to most of the time, it's alternative. And I'm gonna, I wrote it down because I don't wanna <laughs> go off on a tangent. Okay, so. <laughs> My style inspiration can come from movies. Movies such as The Heathers, Empire Records, Clueless, and of course, The Craft. And I also take inspiration from shows, characters from shows like Jackie from That 70s Show. Oh my gosh, Lou. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, cartoon characters, totally spies, you know, I just got into Jojo recently, so. <laughs> uh, I like skater style, I like skate punk, I like mall goth, I like vintage, and that's really broad of a term, but I can't really generalize it, I guess, or, I mean, no, I can generalize it, but I can't limit it, it's because I basically see something, I like it, and I want to follow it. Yeah. I also like 70s style, you know those earth tones, the browns and everything? Yeah, okay, that's so vague, but you get what I mean? I like cutesy things, contrary, contrary to popular belief. Melanie Martinez-ish? kind of stuff where you mix like these baby doll vibes with like these dark elements. I also particularly like fetish fashion, Violet Tchotchke-esque type things, but I don't have a lot of pieces like that because they're expensive and yeah. I don't have any corsets yet that would <clears throat> have the quality, <laughs> but yeah, okay. I don't have it, but I like it. There. <laughs> okay, so 
to generalize that, it can basically range from vintage to alternative to cute and just makes a little bit of okay not not a little a lot of androgyny in there that's my style okay next i got three questions from chai fleur gelatrina miss you too and mike duque okay so what shops do you suggest for accessories where do you buy most of your accessories? By the way, miss you. <laughs> Where do you buy cute earrings and chains? So, I buy most of my accessories online. I mean, okay, for belts, online or the thrift. For earrings, I recommend three shops that, are, that may or may not be accessible to some of you physically. So, NCAT is in Circuit, Makati, and market market and Broadway gems is in Cebu but I think they changed their name to bagel girl and is that one more uh, let me see okay yeah yeah that's it and <laughs> for online be very careful because I've had a lot of experiences with buying rings and necklaces that stain because they're made of alloy so make sure to know what material they're made of always go with stainless steel i mean if you're like me and you sweat a lot or you have acidic skin or something it's really better to go with stainless steel which is why a lot of people ask me this where do i get my chains the reliable ones are actually from the pet section of a store yeah i know right the pet section of a store they're stainless they're durable you can just match them with a little lock or a pendant to make them look nice and you can layer them find something to clip onto them or hook onto them and okay this is kind of i guess a, a little story weirdly enough some of the most interesting things i've ever gotten from my accessories are things i've either i have either diy'd or things i've found in weird places where you would least expect it like in colon like gaisano in the side of a street and in a fiesta like cool rings and necklaces uh, I found this in Gaisano I found most of these rings except for these three from the fiesta in Cebu and they're stainless I DIY'd this this was a headband this is from Shopee Lazada Lazada and I had this custom made at a seance. Yeah, uh, oh yeah, look at my earrings. This is Gerard and this is Frank, okay? <laughs> but yeah, be careful with whatever material you're getting. It's usually overpriced when I get it on Lazada and Shopee, plus it fades, so just be really careful with that. I strongly suggest the pet store thing because it's affordable. And it's durable. Like I said, I'm sorry. I keep repeating what I'm saying. Okay. Oh, right. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. So, for the shops I mentioned earlier. Oh, yeah. For cute for cute dangly earrings, definitely online, mostly. I get a lot of my cute earrings that are dangly online. But the studs, I find them better. I find them in physical stores because they're stainless and they're cute. And the three stores I mentioned a while ago, NCAT, Bagel Girl, and... Broadway gems, but if you find your own version of that wherever you're from, then go ahead, check them out. Usually they're a little bit expensive, but they're worth the investment, I'm pretty sure. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, okay. So, if fashion accessories talk about where the inspiration for the aesthetic came from, I mentioned that, and tips para hindi lang wantang gamitin yung outfit. Okay, so. I wrote it down. <laughs> Pair it with a different top or bottom. This one may seem a little bit obvious, but I have this these beige this this beige pair of corduroy pants that I paired with red Converse and a red stripy long sleeve one time with a chain, and another time I wore it with a stripy earth toned button down. Doc Martens, white socks, and a denim trench coat. And 
they look different. I mean, obviously the pants are the same, but you want to try to get away with making them look different. And if you want to wear exactly the same outfit, then go ahead by all means because fashion is supposed to be sustainable. You're not supposed to you know, wear one thing and throw it away. That's just sad. But if, okay, if it's a statement piece, like something really loud, maybe it be a top, a bottom, or a dress, always, and this is what I do at least, if you, if you want to know. <laughs> I like to wait a few months before I wear it, or maybe a month. But if you don't have that kind of time, then by all means, go ahead. Okay, the second tip. Layering is your best friend. Like I mentioned earlier, you like to throw on different elements. Don't disregard accessories, for sure. Shoes, your hairstyle, even hats, you know, they can really help transform an outfit. And I have this cute schoolgirl long sleeve button down that I've worn with a skirt. And I've also worn it underneath this long maxi dress. And they look different. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's pretty simple, but you shouldn't disregard the details because a lot of the time, these are things that people would appreciate and notice in your outfit, no matter what aesthetic you're going for. Okay, from Jace again. Thank you for all your questions. I love you. Okay, where to find not so expensive, but so good quality wigs. Okay. I only have one wig, <laughs> the black and white one that I always wear. And I got that from Lazada f on sale for less than 500 because it was December. There are a lot of decent wigs in places like SM and I think Landmark. Or basically I think any mall, right, has wigs. They're okay quality. You should go for those because there's always a little bit of a gamble when you buy wigs online, especially ones that aren't, you know, lace front or ones that are really cheap. So I suggest really going there, you know, fitting it, seeing if it looks good on you, if you like it, what you can do to improve it. And for wigs, it's always nice to trim your wig to make it fit your face more. That's what I did with my wig because the bangs were like until here before. So yeah, I had to fix that. So that's just another tip you can apply if you have a new wig or something. Okay, bonus questions. Three of these are from Ashley. <laughs> Where do you get your phone cases? I got, this one was given to me. My coffin one that says Killstar on it is from Green Hills <laughs> and my Hello Kitty one is from Shopee. Most of them, yeah, th that's it. I have a Gerard Way one, it's from Lazada. I have a marble one from Market Market, and that's it. <laughs> okay, but shout out. I have a YouTube channel too. Yes, I subscribe to you. Please sub back. <laughs> so yeah, um, go sub to Ash and Alex on YouTube. There. I gave you a shout out. There. Okay. <laughs> Do outfits video per emo type. Okay. Um, I'll do something like that in the future for sure. I'm not sure if it's going to be about emo specifically, but that would be fun and I'm going to do stuff like that in the future for sure. Okay, last. From Miwei Murray how to be you please don't you're it sucks <laughs> okay um i'm kidding um yeah. self-love love yourself <laughs> so i'll see you in the next video i'm sorry this is a bit long it's my first video i'll see you soon please subscribe please subscribe to my music channel follow me on instagram and Stay tuned for my next video about piercings and other stuff. You can go ask questions on my Instagram, at Bullet Aesthetic. Participate, please. I need content. Bye!